Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl back again to another video. E, another video. E, another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Princess and I document about my life here in Poland. If you're a returning subscriber, hi. Nice to see you. Thank you for clicking. Thank you for coming back. How are you guys doing? Hope you had an amazing week and looking forward to this weekend. As for us here, it's going to be a very long weekend as 1st of um, November is a public holiday. So I hope you guys are ready for the long weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> okay, guys. So on today's topic, I will be addressing your questions on uh, how much you, a student can actually spend a month here in Poland. So this question, I believe that people asking me are just about to come to Poland because um, I receive like a lot of it um, on Instagram, especially about people like asking me, they really want to know how to like plan themselves, how much they are expected to spend or to have um, to spend in a month. So I'm just going to be breaking this down for you because um, when it comes to spending, I think it's relative. Like I think it depends on how much you have or how much you can spend. If you how you want to live your life, if you want to live on a budget or you just want to enjoy life. So I want to understand that or believe that those asking me this question want to know if how they can actually. I'm just going to dive budget. right into it to, to explain. Where you can actually spend more or where you can actually spend less so if you want to know how much a typical student can actually spend here in poland uh in a month please keep watching and listening so as always i have my notes so that i can keep track of what i'm saying so first of all and first and foremost the most important thing that the one thing on your list that you can spend either more or less on is accommodation so I'm going to be just explaining these expenses or your budget or how much you expected to expend based on what on what's your uh, price because if uh, you're living in other cities it might be cheaper I'm not sure about Wrocław and Krakow but I think they can still be a little bit cheaper depending so depending on the city you are you're living these prices might change but based on, on Warsaw and the price and of things here in Warsaw this is how much you can actually spend in a month so accommodation on this one I will recommend that if you're coming to study at least for your first year if it's possible to stay in a school hostel or dormitory because these are actually cheaper compared to when you want to rent an apartment so let's say you want to live in a, a hostel school hostel I think the cheapest you can get is from 550 to 850 depending on the kind of a uh, room you are signed up for so if you're going to be sharing with other people in the same room or you are going to have your own separate room you share toilets and common spaces like toilet I share with them but if you're going to be taking like a private room I think that would be more expensive like 750 800 depending on the school hostel so let's say you are going to be living in the school hostel and this per month you can get school hostel for 600 zloty cheapest but i can say 700 let's say 700 I'm going to be putting them in euros so you can actually know how much it is in euros just in case you want to calculate that in euros you don't want to live in a separate like you want to rent an apartment you don't want to stay in this school dormitory it can actually cost you from 750 to 1200 bear in mind in houses rooms in Warsaw are quite small <laughs> so yeah it's they are quite small so if you're going to be renting a shared apartment let's say it's two rooms or three rooms or four rooms or five rooms and other people are living there so you share common spaces as well share this with them but in this one you have to be very careful to make sure that all the expenses that you're going to be that's good that is related to this apartment you understand it because sometimes 750 might be just the cost of um the apartment without media without um electricity bill without water without heat so you need to make sure that everything uh you're going to be paying is all included and you know how much you expect it to pay so you can actually do this by going to facebook so guys i'm going to be showing you how you can actually search for uh, apartments or accommodations here on Facebook market so you can have an overview of what you can actually 
go for so here this is my facebook market i go here every time so you can actually search so here you can actually put search um house for rent or home for rent but i will put it in polish so here is simple so this is it i click on it so you have the 10 kilometers and you also have your city so if you want it to be outside warsaw or any other city or you can actually add very close to your hostel to your school or something like that but i won't be um changing mine this is okay for me uh, by the way guys if you're not following me on facebook i think this is the right time for you to actually go follow me <laughs> on, on facebook so yeah this is it i'm just these are the ones that are available so this one is 650 and let's see what they have here they have this is a toilet this is not looking nice the bathroom the rooms are in what uh, rooms in warsaw are actually very small i don't know why they do like this but it's actually for me it's not fair see how small this is this is here yeah, the kitchen is clustered but anyway this is an this is an apartment and let's see all that is included they have price is 530 plus 140 media you have to pay caution for your 650 and this is the address where am i let me just translate this in english yeah this address and it is 800 meters from metro stock or c and it's available right now so you already know that this is what you're expected to pay because this person has put 140 for media so this is very important for you to check what they have so that you know how much you are going to be paying in, in total we can actually check one more so this is 1003 and this is a big room that is free it's at sadiba so this is actually a very big room actually very big and looks very modern as well so but you see the price so like i said it depends on what you want you can actually spend more or you spend less so if you're going to be taking that 650 you know at the end of the month you'll be spending like almost everything like this with your feeding and transportation and everything but you're going to be taking this room this is 1340 and yeah plus your feeding your transportation that will cost you more so let's see what we have here so they have um uh, it's for uh 49 meters square that's actually big uh room itself has 18 meters square i strongly recommend and i invite you okay this is number to call and additional cost is seven two is what per month in case of a room great access to the city center and all that so this person is actually putting um these are the things that are in the room so you can actually check on them as well call the person i know so this is basically how you can actually go through this and see the kind of apartment you're going for so that you can actually add it to when you're budgeting your your monthly allowance or something like that so i hope you find this helpful so that's actually um that's actually one of the things you need to be this is very very important and you can actually either spend more or spend less depending on your preference also i want to mention that when you first move to poland i believe depending on the time of the year you can spend more for example you know school just started in october and those coming to poland this time around i'm sure if you're coming from a warm country you need to get yourself cold gears like you need to get yourself jackets warm boots scarves hats you don't have this before so that will actually make you spend more because you need to actually buy these things like because you need, you need to keep yourself warm so you need to buy yourself jackets and all these kind of things and that will actually make you spend more if you're somebody that thrifts you can actually thrift them you don't have to buy them new new if you're new somebody that not, likes to thrift you can go to second hand shops and actually get yourself used ones that are still very good or can actually be cheaper for you so another part that i know you can actually spend more or less is transportation as a student actually now i'm not sure if all students are actually stationary if you have to go to classes or you can still go on you can still be online but i heard that you but it's both you can go to class or you can just uh join online so with this one you can actually save 
and uh, even though that's here in Warsaw, I'm actually all over Poland, the student uh, transportation tickets are actually reduced. They have discount. So normal ticket for a person that is not a student will cost like 180 zloty here in Warsaw per month. So, but if you're a student with 140, you can buy yourself three month card. I think here in Warsaw, we can only buy for three months and not longer than that. So you can actually buy yourself three month card and this enables you to take the tram, take the bus, take the metro, depending on the zone, because here in Warsaw we have zone one and zone two. So depending on the zone that you actually push us, so you can travel throughout those zones with this ticket. So if you don't want to um, buy a three month card, you can actually buy one month, which I think should be 45 Swati or something like that. So which is actually cheap for you. However, if you don't want to do that, you can actually use a uh, Yagdo Yade. Yagdo Yade is a transportation app here in Warsaw. I'm sorry, in Poland as well, because when I go to other cities, I use it as well. So you use Yagdo Yade. Yagdo Yade, you can download the app on your phone. When you download the app, there's, there's this new feature of where you can actually um, deposit money or put money into your wallet. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually do that. So so here for transportation, you can actually use Yagdo Yade, like I mentioned, it's an app, I already downloaded it in my phone. So you can actually schedule trips, like where you want to go, for example, this is tram, bus, train and all that. And here are my tickets, for example, um, here are my tickets, here is where you can actually get tickets, let's see, in zone 1 and 2, zone 1 zone one and two like i mentioned short time trips how much they are so you can actually see if you don't want to buy full-time um tickets you don't want to buy for the month you just want to buy as you're going out for a group this is what you get so you can actually just go to your account this is my account here is my wallet so i can actually just here i have they say i can refill with 25 zloty i'm sure you can add more up to I don't know 50 is worth it just depending on how much you you want to spend so you can just put like 25 worth for example and whenever you want to go out you can just check where you're going to for example let's say let's go back let's say I'm going for trips let's say I'm going um, from Black Vancouver to Centrum and I will search say it's telling me these are all the trams I have to go and this is how much I have to pay this is 3 is worth it for Tigreshi so I already have a ticket in, that I bought I haven't used so I can use this to validate it I click here there's a barcode in the in the in the bus or in the tram that you can use to activate it and that is it so if I haven't bought this I can just refill it from my pocket or I can just pay for it using blake to pay for it and i think this will also be helpful for you if you don't want to buy a full-time ticket you can that you just want to buy a ticket anytime you're going out yeah this is another place you can actually save more or spend more you mentioned accommodation and transportation another important place that you can actually spend more or less is feeding you're feeding during the month so um usually this depends on how much you want to spend on food how much you eat and all that so if you're basically um going to be on a budget for me during my time i during my time actually i could actually survive on 150s worth because then the the longer was very very cheap i'm not sure but now there's inflation if you want to <laughs> if, if you doubt it I am telling you everything is has increased by two three zlotys and it's kind of quite crazy but still Biedronka and Oshon and Lidl, Kelfor, these are four that I am sure that Tesco used to be Tesco as well but Tesco is no more in Poland. You can actually check around your area to see if you have any of these shops I've just mentioned around you so you can actually go there and shop. So my budget then was like 150 or now 200. And then we started with 150 then 200 which is 50 zloty per month. So if you budget yourself 50 zloty per month, I think it's actually, uh, no sorry, I mean 50 zloty per week. So if you have yeah, 200, which means 200 
per month so depending on what you're buying and how much you want to spend on food i think 200 want to shop that crazy i think 300 but i think 200 to 50 should be enough for you as if it's if you're alone to shop for yourself then after that another thing you can actually pay more on or less is a mobile your mobile um, phone so i believe i don't know depending on the network you're using you can actually sign contracts with this uh, telecommunications and know which one you prefer i am using Leica. I started using like I my I was using play but as a student then it was too much for me so I started using Leica so you can decide the one that you prefer you can sign up with play they give you internet give you free calls and test messages and all that and also roaming in some play in some times the same with like orange blues so it depends on the one you prefer and the this one is what you can to use when it comes to phone bills and all that then you can now talk about miscellaneous maybe you want to eat outside or something like that so i don't know you want to hang out with your friends usually you can put like 30 zloty to 50 zloty depending I feel like 50 zloty for miscellaneous eating out i think it's too much if you want to live on a budget 30 zloty should be okay yeah the hangouts where you can afford you don't have to hang out with go to sphinx because <laughs> you want to go you can treat yourself nothing bad but still i'm just saying that you can actually um you can actually live but um you can actually cut on such expenses and like spend like 30 zloty on that part so i think these are basically the things you can as a student you can actually spend more oh maybe when like i said when you come to poland because when you come you need to change your insurance right you need to buy yourself an insurance that you can actually use here because the insurance you bought before is the travel insurance you might not actually really use it here so that means you need to get yourself an insurance company that can actually sell you cheap insurance that you can always use and call the doctor when you're sick or something like that and yeah i'm not recommending PZG, sorry <laughs> because yeah a lot of troubles but if you have any other any, any other insurance companies that you prefer, that you know about that you can ask around that you can use this one i cannot recommend because during my time i used PZU, but it was all uh, a mess yeah it was struggle all the time to get myself a doctor so which is why i want to be recommending it and uh, yeah but you can ask around to see other insurance companies that uh you can use as well to help yourself because you know you don't know if you're coming during this time you definitely get sick because of the change of weather and all that and you need to be treated so it's also important for you to get yourself and insurance and that's it that's like the basic thing you can actually spend money on now as a student let us uh try to add them together to know how much you can uh, you are uh, actually say you be paying that your hostel bill is 700 plus your transportation 45 plus your feeding 200 plus your miscellaneous 30 plus your phone bill 20 so that is like not even up to a thousand zloty that's like 995 zloty so but you can actually add so let's say approximately depending on the type of apartment so let's even say that you rented an apartment that you rented an apartment and you're paying uh, 850 that expenses will be like approximately 1000 to at most every month here in Poland if you want to be living on a budget if you want to live more because sometimes this 1002 can actually be a rent for one one house you know for one room or something like that but if you just want to live on a budget I think 1200 is a perfect price for you what is it guys this is how much you can actually spend on a month here in Poland as a student that wants to live on a budget as always if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe please let me know if there are other things I've missed or if there's also some insurance company that you know that are reliable please leave them in the comment section so that others can also see them and maybe contact them as always thank you for joining and I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye